I'm Sarah Pastalka. I'm the Behavior Program Supervisor here at the Michigan Humane Society. Today I have with me Carl, a four-year-old cat who came into us as a stray. Carl was turned in as a stray. Some lovely people found him outside, brought him to the shelter. So what we did for Carl is get him vaccinated and dewormed. We made sure he was neutered and we allowed a waiting period for his owners to come in if they were looking for him. No one came forward, so we were able to place Carl up for adoption so he can find his new forever home. Depending on if the animal has identification, which would be a microchip or some sort of tag indicating that he has an owner, um, typically the waiting period is about four to five days so that the owner has an opportunity to claim them it, even if they didn't have identification on. Carl is an extremely social cat. He likes to ask you for attention. He'll jump up and give you hugs, and he loves to be pet all the time. Carl would do great in a home with kids of any ages. He would do well in a home that had maybe some other cats. He seems to have gotten along with some of the cats he's met here at the shelter. However, if you have dogs at your home, it's probably not the best fit for Carl, as he doesn't really care for dogs too much. If you're interested in adopting Carl, you'd come to the Berman Center for Animal Care, 900 North Newburgh Road in Westland, Michigan. You would come in, spend some time with Carl, fall in love, and take him home the same day. Carl does have um, some dental problems. He's got a little bit of gingivitis and not much tartar was found in his teeth. So our vets think that he may have a bit more of a serious problem. He might have the start of a resorptive disease. The resorptive disease is a gum disease in cats. It's not very common, but it can be cared for if you keep it looked after with your own vet. Carl is pretty low key. I'll play when you want and rest with you too. I love to be pet and touched. You can pet me anytime. I don't have a history with kids, so please let me meet yours first. I did not get along with dogs in my previous home. I don't have a history with cats, so please introduce me to yours slowly. You can expect me to shed. Frequent brushing will help. I'm full grown and not declawed. I use my litter box consistently, and I enjoy meeting all sorts of people here. Today I have with me Sugar Ray. He is a six-year-old Corgi cattle dog mix that came into us from another shelter. So Sugar Ray is a very friendly dog. He loves to be pet. He's very curious and a very calm dog. However, he does have some medical issues. He came into us blind, and we believe it's due to his cataracts. So you'll need to keep a special relationship with your vet to keep him happy and healthy. He also has a bit of tartar on his teeth. That's normal for a dog his age, so you'll want to keep his teeth monitored with your vet as well. Sugar Ray would do best in a quiet home where his surroundings could stay very similar. So he starts to learn the house. Blind dogs do need a familiar area that doesn't have very many changes so that they don't bump into things as much. Um, he wouldn't do great in a home with kids because he, he is quite nervous. Sudden changes, um, quick movements might startle him a little bit. If you're interested in giving Sugar Ray his forever home, you would just come to the Berman Center for Animal Care. We'll set you up in a room to fall in love with him, and then you can take him home the very same day. I'm a little nervous here, but I might be more active when I'm comfortable at home. 
I love to be pet and touched. Quick movements and noises startle me. I'm not a good fit for homes with children. I don't have a history with dogs, and I don't have a history with cats. You can expect me to shed, but frequent brushing will help. I am full grown. I'm not sure if I'm house trained, but I do keep my area here at MHS clean. It takes me some time to warm up to new people. At first, I'm a bit nervous. I need some extra special TLC, so please ask about me when you come into the Berman Center to meet me. The Michigan Humane Society has special partnerships with different rescue organizations and different shelters around the United States. What we do is we help each other out when we have difficult to place animals and also if there are space issues at other shelters. If the Michigan Humane Society has some extra space for dogs, then we're more than happy to help them so that we can save more animals together.